Hello there and welcome back to a Star Wars story. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to let YouTube know that the Force is strong with this channel. Very excitedly, the HasLab Ghost Campaign has come to an end with a final backer tally of 21,768 units. This means that it was fully backed with all tiers unlocked. This occurred on the 6th of September 2023. It is estimated to ship in the fall of 2024. Now, as always with the HasLab campaign, if you didn't back it within the release window, then you simply, there is no way to access it and there is no way to get it. But I am beyond thrilled. It's great to see Rebels completely represented here. D between the tier unlocks and getting Sabine in a deluxe set, and depending on whether or not you have the... Uh, the Disney Parks uh, chopper that was released in 2017. I picked it up when I was at Celebration in 2017. So uh, thankfully for that, because wow, that fetches a, a quite the price on the secondary market. But between all of that, we will have the complete Rebels crew when this launches. And my hope is that this will continue to inspire uh, Disney and Hasbro and Lucasfilm to look at these properties that have been finished for years and go back to the well of figures, so to speak, and, and produce a few more. Obviously, between the economy and the declining sales of action figures because kids just aren't interested in them anymore, it's more and more likely, you know, that action figure lines will come to an end rather than last throughout our entire lifetimes. But for the time of... You know, the the peak of Star Wars in terms of where we're at with the amount of content we're receiving. It's great to see something big like this be successful, especially for a line that for a time Hasbro had written off completely. You know, the three and three quarter line was being uh, kind of buried and the especially the three and three quarter super articulated line was uh, pretty much non-existent. And to see where we've come up from with these massive HasLab successes, you know, with these huge, you know, successes in terms of getting figures that we've always wanted, it's it's a thrilling time and it's a good sign. The market for kids is obviously shrinking. The adult market seems to be maintaining. And one thing that I have found interesting, especially in terms of making these videos and, and talking with people, and I really do find this interesting, is that kids who were, you know, in 2023 getting into adulthood just turning 18 and 19. It's interesting to me to see that as they're entering adulthood, they're getting interest in action figures. So like there's this block of childhood where there's no interest in figures. And, and this is purely based on sales data. This isn't, you know, a one to one, oh, every child, you know, no children want figures or toys. It's just a matter of declining sales versus, you know, children, right? But it is interesting to me that uh, it, technically speaking, you know, you have this, you, you have all these kids who are just now hitting, you know, adulthood. And if you look at the statistics of where toy sales were declining in the prime age range, but then you look at the adult age range, you know, from 18 to 24 and how it's rising, it's like this, it's, it, it, it's, it's interesting. And it, I think it's worth looking into more and it's worth paying, at, you know, paying a little bit more attention to, uh, especially in terms of marketing. I've, I've only took, taken a glance just to kind of get an idea for this video, but it's made me want to in-depthly look into it because I'm curious in terms of if there's a topic there. There probably is a topic there, but it's probably not for this channel, right? <laughs> this isn't a marketing channel. This is Star Wars. So, you know, kind of looking and analyzing at that. But all that being said and all my kind of going all over the place, there is an interest among young adults into adulthood in action figures and collecting and in having that kind of hobby. And it's exciting to see and it's good to see. And hopefully, you know, hopefully this means Vintage Collection continues to excel and be successful because me and my kids, we, we love it. We, you know, it's great to have collected this stuff for 30 years pretty much and then to have my kids really into it and to be able to, you know, these things don't just become display pieces. They get to be played with for generations to have my kids pull them down and everything like that. So there is, there's an excitement and there's that kind of attachment to it and that kind of nostalgia. But it, it's great to see and it's it's interesting to see how kids are coming up and, you know, coming into adulthood with 
some amount of disposable income, obviously not a lot because of the economy, but coming into it and deciding to pick up figures here and there. And I think that's interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Above all else, and most importantly, stay safe, take care of others, and remember that the Force will be with you always.